The first reaction, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. The first reaction would be acid-base reaction. Now, as I have already told you, the terminal alkyne, not acid-base, only terminal alkyne can act as a uh, acid, because terminal alkyne as a has a hydrogen on the carbon. Internal alkynes will not have any hydrogen because it, it has to make three bonds in another carbon and one of the bond will be another carbon if it is an internal alkyne. So no hydrogen on sp hybridized carbon. Only terminal alkyne will have hydrogen on sp hybridized carbon. So only terminal alkyne can act as an acid. So when you act as a base, like when you act, add amide ion, so it is going to act as an acid base. This is going to act as an acid giving hydrogen this is going to act as a base taking hydro, hydro hydrogen so this is a simple acid base reaction uh, suppose you have a sodium now I have already told you but let's say it again when you add sodium as sodium reacts with all other active hydrogen containing compound so will be the reaction with terminal alkyne there will there will be a an ion formed like this clubbed with sodium and hydrogen gas would be evolved. This is not balanced. Now it is balanced, but no need to balance. We are not looking f uh, for balancing this reaction. These reactions, generally in organic chemistry, you don't have to bother for balancing the reactions. You just have to give the correct product and side products. That generally suffices. So this is uh, basically what a acid does, loses electron. And this is what terminal alkyne will do with strong bases. Now, there is another uh, reaction which is used as a test for alkyne. Suppose uh, in this terminal alkyne, I add ammoniacal silver nitrate. Now, when you take silver nitrate, silver nitrate is AgNO3 and when you add ammonia to this, then it's, we will study in the chapter of coordination compound that silver has a great affinity towards ammonia for forming a complex. And this is a complex. This is the complex that silver forms. Silver here is in plus one oxidation state. Ammonia is neutral. So this is the complex, the tiny part of the complex which is formed. So this complex is quickly formed whenever we have ammonia and uh, we have silver. So this is, uh, when you add ammonia to silver nitrate, that is called ammoniacal silver nitrate, and this is how it exists in the complex form. So when you add ammoniacal silver nitrate to this uh, terminal alkyne, the reaction that you get is, the, this, this hydrogen, this H plus, has been replaced by Ag plus. Now silver lies down below hydrogen in the reactivity series. So silver is less reactive and less reactive species replaces uh, in, in, in the reaction, in the reaction, uh, less reactive species. The cationic part of less reactive replaces the cationic part of more reactive. When you have neutral form of the metals, then it's opposite. More reactive participate in reaction and less reactive comes out of the reaction. For example, uh, uh, for example, if you have sodium and you have you have calcium carbonate, then the sodium is going to participate in reaction and going to form Na plus, and this calcium is going to form metallic calcium because sodium is more reactive than calcium. But when you have a uh, so more reactive species wants to exist in ionic form. So sodium will die to come in Na plus state and less reactive species tries to exist in a neutral form. Now here silver is less reactive than hydrogen. So silver will try and exist in a neutral form. So silver will try and form a kind of covalent bond and hydrogen compared to silver will try to go into the reaction. So hydrogen will try to come in the form of H plus and silver will try to go back. So if this is the reaction, silver going to silver plus and hydrogen going to hydrogen plus. Now as such, both are less reactive in the reactivity series. Both lies towards the bottom of the reactivity series. But compared 
to hydrogen silver is even less reactive so backward tendency of silver is higher than that of hydrogen fine okay so what happens in this case this silver replaces hydrogen in this alkyne and what we get is now silver silver has pseudo noble gas configuration ag plus we know that and because of that the polarization power of silver is very high so the bond ionic bond or, or the bond with this kind of ion of c minus is largely covalent so we show it like this even though silver is a metal so this this is this is what we would get we would get silver acetyl or alkylidene ion and this is white in color fine this is a white ppt so when you add ammoniacal silver nitrate to a terminal hydrogen you will get a white ppt of alkylide silver alkylide uh, silver al this is silver alkylide and uh, silver alkylide mostly all of them is white in color forming a precipitate so if a white precipitate comes that that signifies formation of silver alkylide and that signifies presence of a terminal alkyne in the system because internal alkyne don't have any hydrogen on sp sp hybridized carbon so there cannot be such replacement as in this case so you need to have hydrogen so internal alkyne doesn't show this test so this test is exclusively for terminal alkyne similarly instead of ammoniacal silver nitrate if you have ammoniacal copper chloride copper also forms strong stable complex instead of this if we have ammoniacal copper chloride having the same substrate we will get similar kind of compound which is also a precipitate but this time it's a red precipitate so if you are adding ammoniacal copper chloride to a alkyne and if that if that is known it's a alkyne then if we are getting a red precipitate then we can by conviction say that it must be a terminal alkyne or this is a test for a terminal alkyne both the reactions so this 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 is a test for terminal alkyne and this you have to remember so that completes a reaction of uh, acid based reaction of terminal alkyne